And Dothan High held the inaugural Mike Schmidt Challenge today, allowing students from Dothan High and Carver 9th Grade Academy to compete for scholarships by playing some cornhole. Well, it was exciting. It was fun. Uh, and what, what a joy to be able to give opportunities to our students because they can compete with anyone if they're given the chance. These students were given the chance of a lifetime today. $25,000 to be dispersed among the top 10 out of over 400 contestants. And the winners expressed nothing but gratitude. It's unbelievable because you would never think that I would win money in ninth grade for anything. So it didn't feel real. When I made it to those top 10, I was I didn't care what I walked out with. I was just grateful to have some some type of money. Uh, and then God continued to bless me and I ended up with five times out of mouth. Second and third place received checks of five thousand and three thousand dollars respectively, and a thousand dollar reward was divided among the rest of the top ten. But for hitting the winning shot, Wolves senior Keandre Benton got the big bucks. Ten thousand dollars. That means a lot to me, and my family, and you know, I just want to thank Mike for giving me this opportunity. I was shocked because I didn't think I was going to win, but I'm very excited. And for these students to maximize their opportunities to actually go get the win, you just had to be there. To get three throws, the only way that's possible each round is to have perfect attendance. And you can look at Benton and say, wow, he must be pretty good at Cornhole to win all that money, but in reality, the competition was only a small glimmer of the work he and the rest of these students have put in. That just shows you him showing up, having perfect attendance, doing the other things like earning the CCR, getting his 12th grade paperwork in for college. Those things really showed up. And today, it translated into those throws in a $10,000 scholarship. So that just shows you, you got to go to school. Mitchell said they chose Cornhole because it provided an even playing field for all, and they hoped that this could become an annual event.